Thwaites Glacier is one of the widest on Earth. It spans 80 miles across, and in some places, it is over 3,000 feet thick. Together with the surrounding ice in the West Antarctic Ice Sheet, it helps stabilize the region's entire glacial system, much like a keystone in an arch. But over the past few decades, Thwaites has been changing. Radar data, satellite images, and underwater surveys have revealed alarming signs. It's retreating rapidly, it's losing over 50 billion tons of ice every year, and crucially, it's being melted not just from the top, but from below. What's driving this? Warm ocean water. Unlike Greenland, where atmospheric warming dominates, Antarctica's biggest threat comes from below, as relatively warm, salty seawater flows beneath the ice shelf and erodes it from the inside out. Here's where things get technical and dangerous. The part of Thwaites that we're most concerned about isn't the land-based ice sheet, it's the floating ice shelf at its front edge. This shelf acts like a buttress. It holds back the glacier behind it, slowing its slide into the ocean. Unfortunately, satellite data and submarine robots have revealed that this ice shelf is fracturing and fast. In some places, warm water has carved out deep channels underneath it. In others, the ice is barely hanging on, attached to underwater mountains and ridges that provide the last points of resistance. If the shelf breaks apart, and it very well might in the next few years, the glacier behind it could accelerate dramatically, sending ice into the sea much faster than the current models expect. And once that happens, there's no easy way to stop it. Glaciers don't melt like ice cubes. They don't disappear steadily or predictably. They collapse in thresholds. And the problem with Thwaites is that we may already be approaching one. Scientists call this a marine ice sheet instability. It's a feedback loop. The glacier retreats, that exposes deeper ice, deeper ice flows faster, and faster flow means more retreat. Once this cycle starts, past a certain point it becomes irreversible, even if the world stopped warming tomorrow. The scary part? We don't know if Thwaites has already crossed that threshold. And even if it hasn't, we don't know how much time we have left. So, what happens if it collapses? If